hi welcome to my channel this is Kathy today I have another Dollar Tree haul so let's let's begin I went to the Dollar Tree because I was uh, cleaning out my pantry cabinet in my kitchen here and I wanted uh, containers to hold cereal I actually in my last haul I purchased uh, the blue containers like this for my husband for his coffee at work so I picked up two sizes for uh, cereal that's almost gone. Um, these are the, what size are these? Three quart, and they have the green top, so these are already in use. I just took them out for my video to show you. I bought two of these to go in my cabinets. And then I purchased, when we buy them at the big wholesale stores, like uh, we have Berkeley Jensen here, BJ's Wholesale Club. So I picked up, these are the, size of these one gallon and they have the red uh, top so I bought um, uh, three of these to hold my bulk cereal and to keep it fresh um, the next thing I bought because I was redoing my pantry um, I bought some of these locker style uh, white um, containers and these are by Greenbrier so they're the long, longer ones to so purchase those Next thing I went in for, I saw Clara Slate. I'll try to remember to link her um, channel below. She um, hauled these um, Thai Yu Pure Salon Tea English Breakfast, and they're the 20 foil sachets or sachets, however you pronounce it. Um, but they come like this. Those are what they look like inside. I haven't tried them yet. The uh, glue seems to have come on down on the box, but I purchased two of these. One is for a gift for someone else. Hopefully that didn't come on stuck. No, it didn't. So two of those. And then I purchased the chai tea in that same brand. So it looks like this. So there's two of those, two chai tea. And also, I'm inside today because it's raining out outside there. Um, that's my sunroom. Um, it's too cold out there also. It's about 50-something degrees. So we are now indoors for the rest of the season probably, unless I get a good day and I can get out on the deck. I try to. So then I picked up for decoration outside um, in the front yard. There's these uh, scarecrow little guys. I picked up the red one. The blue and green one and then the purple purple little guy so I have bought three of those for decoration outside in our front yard I'm trying to keep all on the table here and then I bought some food I bought I was gonna try to do a um, pumpkin spice latte in the crock pot and I needed some pumpkin. I'll try to find the video where I saw it. I think it was Dolce Candy who um, who uh, uploaded it, her video, and it shows you how to make a pumpkin spice latte with some pumpkin mix. So I picked this up at the Dollar Tree. So some pumpkin, it's a 15 ounce. It's 100% natural pumpkin. So see how that comes out. Um, then I repurchased these. This is a repurchase. These are the um, Honey Bunches of Oats breakfast biscuits. So that's a repurchase. And then I found, um, I was looking for some sweet pickles. It's a Weight Watcher recipe. It called for, so it was chicken salad and it called for sweet pickles to chop up and put inside that. So I'll try to remember to put that link below to that recipe that I'm going to try with these. So these are some Breckenridge Farm Sweet Pickles. It's 12.5 fluid ounce. So, there's those. Let's see. We purchased for my daughter. She really likes these pizza crusts for little snacks or even for dinner. She just makes herself a little pizza and I make a little salad for the side because I still want her to get her veggies in there. She can't just have pizza all the time. Gotta try to keep have your kids eating healthy. Then I found this, um, I've never tried this before, it's the Kendale Farm Beef Broth. It says no added MSG or gluten free and it's 32 ounces. I just put this, I think I put it in my sauce for one recipe. So I just good to have 
um, to, uh, for your cooking. Um, then I found, she wanted these again, my daughter, for her school snacks. These are the teddy bear cookies. They're the chocolate uh, chip kind, the six packs in each. So I bought two of those for her lunches. Let's see. Then for my other little son, my dog, uh, his name is Murphy. I picked him up some peanut butter flavored dog biscuits. He really likes these. So those are for him, and they come in a 16 ounce. So those are for Murphy. I'm running out of room. I'm going to have to put those over there. Then I found these. These are really good. My daughter likes these. They're the uh, Rice Krispie Treats. Blast, they're called Blasted. And they're the choc chocolatey chip marshmallow. So you get a five pack of these. She's already been through, I think, three of them. They're in the cupboard already. So I bought two of those, two packs of those. So those are good. Then for another recipe, I needed, um, I'll try to link that recipe below too if you're interested. It was a chicken, chicken bow tie spinach salad, and it was really good. So it called for um, some dried cranberries, and I didn't want to buy a big, huge bag of it. So I actually bought two of these. And I've used one already, and uh, one went into the recipe, and then this is a little leftover. And uh, they're just the dried cranberries by Ocean Spray, 3.5 ounces. So those were a nice find. Then I found, I've already gotten into these as a little snack. These are the Butterscotch Oatmeal Bars by Betty Crocker. And these, uh, how many? calories, 150 calories each, so you can't really eat these all the time, so they're not that healthy. They're a little, little dry, so you have to have a nice cup of tea with them, or coffee, so they're good. So, already went through two, they came in a four pack, so. Let's see what else I have in here. Then, my own, oh, because I've been taking a lot of antibiotics, um, kind of messes with your stomach if anybody's had that problem before so one of my friends mentioned to me to take bro probiotics so I found these natural probiotic in sync um, it's uh, 30 caplets and it's a probiotic supplement it's doctor recommended it's got B infantis six natural probiotics and gradual release it and I took I started taking these in and my stomach's been fine so these do work they're really great so I actually bought three of these. So that's two, and this is the one. Let's show the box. And they look like this when you open it up, it comes in a little bottle, and it's just pill form. And they look like, let me get one out for you. Let's see, they look like this. So what you have to do though, if you're taking antibiotics, you can't take, you have to wait two hours after you have your antibiotic. It says, do not take within two hours of taking antibiotics. You have to wait to take these. So I had my antibiotic this morning around 7.30, 8 o'clock when I put my daughter on the bus. And then I had my lunch this afternoon around, let's see, around one-ish. So I had one of these that right after I had my, uh, my lunch. Then the only um, makeup item I, I, I uh, picked up was a auto eyeliner by Colormates, and I purchased it in the 61608 in black. We can open this up to see how it looks and what it how it is, because I've been using a Jordana eyeliner on my eyes, and I really I like it, but when it's the wooden like when you have to sharpen it and you're trying to put it on under your eye it really it starts it, you know it's irritating when you're trying to put it on your waterline and then the, the wood is scratching your eye so I'm hoping this is not like that so this is the color mate black so I got it as an extra oh so it's yes it's a wind up so it looks like this and we'll do a swatch kind of light but we can try it we'll see how it goes not that dark, so you kind of have to make sure that a little bit more. So I'll let it dry a little bit, and then we'll test it and see if it smudges. So for a dollar, just to try out a new eyeliner to see how it works. So that's the Color Meets uh, Auto Eyeliner. Then um, 
for Halloween, I usually have, we live in a really nice neighborhood where um, most of the kids come to this neighborhood to do trick-or-treating. So the last two years, a lot of people have kind of gathered here at the house after they've done their trick-or-treating. So this year I probably have a little, like, um, little hors d'oeuvres, cupcakes, and stuff for the candy, like pizza, if they want to just kind of hang out here and have a little Halloween party after they do their trick-or-treating. So I saw these cute cupcake kits at the uh, Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to make a little set of cupcakes with these, just for decoration. So you get 36 pieces in it, so I thought that was cute. Then the um, other thing I purchased, my front hall hallway closet has umbrellas kind of scattered all over the place on the floor. So I picked up this other container just to put the umbrellas in on the bottom of my floor, uh, in the floor in the uh, cupboard to hold all the, the uh, umbrellas for uh, the front cupboard. So the next thing I found, because we're supposed to get, be getting Hurricane Joaquin here, so I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up a handy uh, flame refillable lighter. So we have some emergency stuff ready. I already have like two of them in the house, but just have an extra one. Then I picked up the good old batteries for the flashlight. I tripped, picked up some double A's, uh, the Sunbeam, and there's a four pack. And I always, somebody told me on here, I don't remember who, I'm sorry, but it's the alkaline you should look for. Those work the best, but they have a better uh, battery life. Then I picked up the triple, triple A batteries for just have extra and then I bought some tea lights the 16 pack on scented uh, tea light candles for our emergency kit then I found I had these already I purchased these glass jars from the Dollar Tree um, a while ago so I had two of them so when I was cleaning out my pantry and I noticed that the black beans I didn't know how old they were so they're the Goya black beans. So I put those inside the containers and I filled them and I just purchased two of these little pillar candles and put them inside. So that's my haul. My daughter actually just pulled up. She's picking up something from the house. So um, I'm gonna say goodbye for now. Take care. Like, comment, subscribe if you're interested and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.